glass of punch. Thank you. Just even just for an instant. No. 
Well, ask yourselves, do we actually have any tangible evidence that this character even exists? Who? Innkeeper Fred? Shh! You saw what happened a minute ago, that name. You know, that this overexcites the natives or something. Oh, you don't think Innkeeper Fred exists? Oh, Sam, what kind of silliness is that? Irene, please, ask yourself this question. If Innkeeper Fred was like a real person, don't you think that somebody somewhere would just call him by just plain old Fred? What? Innkeeper Fred, Innkeeper Fred! I mean, who goes by a name like that? Would you go by a name like that? Hey, look, it's Housewife Irene! I think I'll go over and play bridge with Housewife Irene. After she gets home from the carpool with the two kids, cheerleader Brittany and Slacker Ed, I'm going to be the angler. Honey, look, they talk about Innkeeper Fred right here in the post curve. Slate marketing, Irene. Nothing more. I mean, I can claim anything in a brochure. We do it all the time in the gravy business. Our gravy number 28, Sassy Sushi Saucy, is actually the same form as our gravy number 6. Smoking my holiday lava? No. Believe it. Well, why don't you just make one flavor out of them? Because, Einstein, then we'd only have 30 flavors, wouldn't we? Yes. I still don't understand. What's this got to do with the Inkeeper Fred? Shh, that name. You saw what happened a minute ago. It looked like a joke right from that car. Right on. <laughs> Listen to me. All of it. I'll bet everything I have that this Inkeeper Fred is Inkeeper Frog. He doesn't exist. Well, why would they put him in the post first thing? It's all poi already, don't you see? I mean, why else do you think they send out these free invitations, huh? To send, to get people coming from miles around, and, and as people come, they bring their precious luggage, and they get this crazy bellhop in position to get his hands on their luggage. Honestly, Sam, what do you think all these wonderful people here are in on the plot? They obviously believe there's a real friend. They're victims, Irene, don't you see? Nothing more. I mean, how? That dude over there, he's making fun of me. Let's go get him. Hey, what's wrong, man? I had a blue animal once. He got hit by a car. <laughs> man, I, I'm sorry. Come on, I'll beat you up. Okay. Hey, everybody, let's play charade! Come on, yeah. bring it in first! Uh, okay. Alright, send us many characters. One word, first word. Guys, drive me crazy, Irene. Let down your guard for just one instant. He's got your stuff flying over the edge. Now, if I could lift up my arms, I'd rip out his spleen. Now, Sam, it could be something genetic, you know. It's probably not his fault. Yeah, yeah. Poor slob's got to chuck your suitcase in the oblivion gene. His parents were probably airline baggage handlers. Oh, Sam. Don't old Sam me. He pitched some of your stuff, too. But I'll hold it back up here for you. He what? No need to thank me, Pookie Lips. <laughs> you hitched your wagon to the King of Grave, and he's going to make sure... Well, I will be introducing each of them to you, one by one. Um, our first one up, Mr. Sam DeBagel, played by Big Messer.
ago. We started working on this a few months ago, actually, and just couldn't wait to be able to perform it, and we're so thankful that you came out to join us tonight. And like Scott said, if you don't have a home church or you want to come back and visit us, our door's always open. And as you all get ready to leave tonight, I just want to let you know that we do have an offering plate at the back. Uh, we are taking up just a lot of offering. It is not mandatory. If you feel led to give us a donation uh, to go into the youth group, that is fine. If you don't, that's fine too. We appreciate you coming and wish you all safe travels on your way home tonight. Thank you.